Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'm super excited because today's video is going to be me telling you my top 10 palettes for 2021. Yes, a lot of people have been talking about their top palettes for 2021 and they've ranked them and I'm going to do the same thing today. Yes, I know we are now in January, but I really wanted to sit down and think about this and really have tried all of these palettes and I love all 10 of these palettes with my whole heart. And these palettes are amazing. The majority of them came out in 2021. I think a couple of them came out in 2020, but I didn't get them until 2021. So I'm ranking them in these, um, in this top 10 ranking, but I'm super excited about this. These palettes were so great, and I'm so thrilled to be sharing them with you today. So welcome if you're new. Hi, my name is Amy. This is Dolly Mama Beauty. On this channel, I talk a lot about eyeshadow palettes. That's my favorite topic of conversation. I love eyeshadow. As you can probably tell from my eye look today, I just love creating, I love doing my makeup, and eyeshadow is just my favorite thing ever. So I talk a lot about that on this channel, but I love tag videos, I love ranking videos, I love favorites videos, drugstore videos, you name it, I love it, and I like to do all sorts of things on this channel, so I hope you'll think about subscribing. So let's just get into these top 10 palettes of 2021. And the first palette I'm gonna talk about this palette uh, took me by surprise, and I've only used it a few times, but I absolutely love this palette. The color story is so unique, it's absolutely beautiful. It is the Midas Cosmetics uh, Perception Palette with the Basic B. It's a collaboration palette. This palette is so pretty. I love the colors, they're bright. The mattes in here are where uh, it shines. I really, really love the mattes. The shimmers in here are really, really pretty too, but they're not my favorite kind of formula. They're kind of toppery shimmers or glittery shimmers. I like really foiled shimmers. Those are my favorite kind of shimmers to wear on my eyes. So these are not my favorite shimmers, but the mattes in here are amazing. You've got deep mattes, bright mattes. It's kind of a hodgepodge. You can do so many different things with this. It's just unique. Um, I've done a few looks with this and I absolutely love everything that I've turned out. I, I, am, I am happy that it's mostly mattes because this is, this, is, this is the kind of palette that I'm going to reach into for mattes more than for shimmers. So if I really want a really bright, fun, unique matte, I have it. I have this really great blue, this turquoise. I got this really deep kind of hunter green. Love this burgundy. That is such a pretty, pretty burgundy. Um, these shades are kind of shifty like duochrome shades, like glittery shades, but I'm just, those are not my preference. So, but I have no complaints. Just beautiful. This red, this kind of cranberry red is gorgeous. Love this palette. So glad I decided to pick it up and try Midas this year. This is, was my first palette from Midas. I got, um, also got the Genesis palette with, with Drench Cosmetics, with the collaboration with Drench Cosmetics, and I love that too. But this one is the standout for me, um, and it's my number 10 palette. Okay, so my number nine palette. I love this little palette. It's such a great palette, and I couldn't leave it out of this ranking, and I, I love Juvia's Place. You guys know I feel about Juvia's Place. I think they're really leaning towards the six-pan monochromatic palette stories now, which I'm not too fond of the direction they're going. I love their nine-pan, like, kind of random color stories, but this one was one that just stuck out to me as a, as a fave. It's the Blushed Rose. Love this one. Oh, God, it's so pretty. Favorite shade in here, hands down, goes to that beautiful, like, um, orangey, um, kind of tangerine -y color. Um, but I love everything in here. you got two shimmers, four mattes. I've used all three of these as a blush. This is a nice, deeper outer corner shade. It's a really pretty, like, burnt, you know, a brownish, rosy color. It's very, very pretty. Love this palette. Um, it is probably, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I ranked my Six Pan Juvia's Place palettes, and I think this one was my favorite. Um, it's definitely, definitely my, my 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 most favorite. If it's if it wasn't this one, it was the Bronze Rustic, which I also love, but I didn't leave, didn't put it in this countdown. It's the only Juvia's Place palette in this countdown, so this is number nine. Okay, this palette. People who were asleep at the wheel at this, I have not heard anybody talk about this, but I love it. And I was going to rank it higher, but, <coughs> excuse me, some of the palettes that are above it are just blew me away. And I just couldn't rank this any higher than I did, but it is so good. This is the Cabana Club palette from ColourPop. This palette is awesome. I, I don't know where people were with this palette. Nobody talked about it. I absolutely love it. It's probably probably in the top three ColourPop palettes of of all time for me. I love this palette. 
Now I have a lot of ColourPop palettes, but I, I you know, just got this one on a whim this year. I just looked at it, I like the color story. The, the week that I got it, I used this palette. I think I used this palette, I want to say six or seven times in a row. I, I just didn't get bored. I, I loved it. I, was, I, I ranked this higher originally and then I, then I re-ranked them, but this is, this is stunning. You've got some pops of color in here. You've got some nice neutrals in here. You can do like really, really pretty um, warm looks. You can do some cool uh, blue you know, blue theme looks. It's just really, really good, and I'm so glad I picked this up. This is the Cabana Club palette from ColourPop. That's number eight. Number seven. You know what? If anybody would have told me I would have loved a pastel palette, I would have said you'd be crazy, but I swear to you, this is so good, and I've used it three times now, and I, it is a companion palette for me, but uh, this is, this is probably one of my favorite BH palettes of all time. It's the Lo it's the Lost in Los Angeles palette. Oh my god. Me. Yes. Look at this and you'd be like, you? Yes, me. This is so good. When they said when 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 Angie and other people said that these were pigmented and, and pa pastels with a really good formula, that was not a joke. Not a joke. I like these better than the, the, the Ice Cream Dreams. I like these ones better than the, um, the Glam White palette. Love that palette, but this one, hands down, so, so good. I am so glad that I decided to pick this up. I used, I did a look the other day where I, um, where I had this, the, I used this, oh, this kind of orange color, this kind of melon color. I did another look where I used this blue, oh my god, you guys. This, this one, this one of all the travel palettes, this one is my favorite. And I have three. This one is my favorite. No, I have two, two travel palettes. This one, this one is so good. I love it, love it, love it, Lost in Los Angeles. Okay, number six. I'm surprised I didn't rank this one higher, but it's still in the top 10, and I love it so much, so, so much. I just haven't got as much use out of it yet as I thought that I would. I've just used some of these other palettes a little bit more, but I, there's no way I couldn't put this in this countdown. Number six goes to the Serenity palette with Menagerie Cosmetics and Annette's Makeup Corner. Stop the presses. This is such a beautiful palette. You've got six mattes, five shimmers, and one topper shade. It's glorious. It's absolutely glorious. I am. I have created quite a few looks with this, um, but I, you know, sometimes I look at it and I'm just like, what am I going to do? And then I can't decide, and then I decide to use something else. So I love it, but it's not my tippy tippy top. But you know how I feel about Annette's makeup corner. I expect another palette collaboration from her in this countdown somewhere. I'm sure you know what number it's going to be, but this is, this is so pretty. I love this palette. So glad I picked it up. So glad to support my friend. She's amazing. I love her. And the Serenity palette. Talk about a magical palette. It's just magical. Okay. Now, I went back and forth between the Serenity palette and this palette for number five, but I ultimately decided to put this in number five because as soon as I used it, I fell in love with it. Like, as soon as I, I fell in love with this as soon as I used it too. But this one, I just wanted to keep using over and over and over again. It's the Avocado Toast from BH Cosmetics. This one, I think, was released in 2020, pretty sure. But I got it, I got it this year and I, I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm dead over it. Now, forgive me for the silvery background. This is so good. It made me want, it made me want to use green eyeshadow. And I, and I, and I'm not a huge green eyeshadow fan, but this made me want to be a green eyeshadow fan. I just loved it. I created so many pretty looks with it. It's got so many nice different tones of green in here. Brown, you know, some brown, some neutrals that, um, you know, you got these neutrals right here. You got these neutrals right here mixed with the brown. Oh my gosh, you guys such a standout palette from BH and I really really love this. I love this one better than the Blueberry Muffin by far. It, it just, it just, and I got the Blueberry Muffin last year and it's not in this, it's not in this ranking so that should tell you something. This one is my, this one is my ultimate. I love this one so 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 much. Uh, avocado toast. Brilliant, brilliant palette. Okay, number four. 
This this brand, I, I knew I wanted to try this brand at the beginning of the year. This brand had a huge year, released multiple palettes. Everybody's talking about them. They've even rebranded. That's Unearthly Cosmetics, but when I got them, they were Alien Cosmetics. This is the Not Normal palette. This is stunning. I knew as soon as I saw this color story, I wanted it. It's phenomenal. It's just so quirky and weird, and you know, I, I don't know that not normal is the right way to describe it, but you've got some neutrals in here, some purples, and some greens, and some yellow, and it's and it's just it's just such a unique color story. I don't have anything this unique. I have a lot of unique color stories in here, but this one to me is my most unique color story, and I just love it. And I love the formulas in here. Um, I love both the mattes and the shimmers. Really, really great. I've done a lot of fun looks with this palette. Super glad I had to put it in number four. By far, number four. So it's just phenomenal, and I cannot wait to try more Unearthly Cosmetics. They just need to, you know, they just need to give me a, give me a, give me a minute because I can't keep up with them. Um, they're releasing palettes, but they, you know, they, they're rebranding. Hopefully some of their old palettes will come back. The Laura palette I want really, really bad. So number three, this palette took forever to get to me. A lot of people had to wait a long time for this palette, but I did get it in 2021. It released in 2020, but I got it in 2021. It's the It's Freaking Bats palette. It's the collaboration palette between Batty Bean and Trad Cosmetics. Of course, mine says Beat Bean because I got it that long ago. She changed her name to Batty Bean, and I love her. Um, Betty Jean's amazing. This palette is a dream come true. This is, these, this and the, the Not Normal palette are my, my, by, by far my most unique color stories in my collection. Love this, I've used this multiple times. Formula is impeccable, I love the mattes, love the shimmers. Wish there was one more matte and one less shimmer, but I'm not complaining. I, 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 I adore this palette, and I adore Betty Jean, and I just am so glad that she got this collab. Uh, it was a hot mess trying to get this palette, um, and it was a hot mess trying to order it. And it was just a nightmare, but you know what? It was well worth the wait. I'm so glad I have it. It's my number three palette of 2021. My number two palette. This one took me by surprise. I was not expecting to love this palette as much as I did, but it shot straight to number two. I, I couldn't put it in number one. I couldn't put it in number one, but number two. And I'm wearing this palette on my eyes today. Oh, God, I love this palette so much. It's the Nomad. Land of Ice and Fire palettes, their Iceland palette. This is so beautiful. Oh, guys, I can't even begin to tell you how much I love this palette. I never, this one, this one is phenomenal. Now, I looked at it when I first got it and I thought, what am I going to do with that? Every look I've created with this has been absolutely just unique, one of a kind, gorgeous look. I use this has to be one of my new favorite shades in my um, eyeshadow palettes collection. This is the shade that I'm wearing in my crease. It is like this sagey green, like, goodness. It, it's such a good shade. Use this in my outer corner, this on my lid, and this on my lid with this on my lower lash line. This palette. When it was on sale for 50% off for Black Friday, I was like, oh, I wanted, it was on my wish list and I wanted to get it. I am so glad I got it because normally I would not probably get a palette that this had this much blue in it, but it's not a blue palette. It has so much variety and so many options. I am so happy I picked this up. This is by far one of my favorite palettes of all time. I love this. I, I'm Nomad, Nomad Cosmetics has my heart. This palette is to die for. So thankful that I bought it. Number one should not come as any shock to anybody. If you watch my channel, you know what number one is. And if you don't, welcome. Welcome if you're new. Um, my name is Amy and I love the Giant Walls palette. Stop it. Annette. I could cry talking about this palette. <laughs> Excuse me. It is beyond anything. Beyond, beyond anything. This is the most beautiful palette of all time. I, it will take mountains and earthquakes and the apocalypse to change my mind about this being my top palette of all time. This is 
by far the most stunning palette, the most me palette, the most creative palette, the it just, the dark mattes, the duo, the trio chromy, you know, uh, shade down here. Uh, the amount of looks I've created with this, I, I've used this well over, well over a dozen times, if not more. And I never get tired of it. There's nothing that I've done that I've never done the same look twice with this. And I, it, it, the possibilities are endless. It is by far the most beautiful palette of all time. And I, I don't know that I'll ever be able to, this, if, if this one gets trumped, it's going to have to be super, super special. And it's probably going to have to be another collab with the next <laughs> because, I, you know, she knows me and uh, I, we have very similar style and makeup. And so when she created this palette, it, you know, I just said, oh, when, it's like she made it for her and this is her taste, but because I'm so, because I, 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 I love her style of makeup, it, I felt like it was made for me too. And it just, it's absolutely stunning. I, I can't get enough of this palette. The Giant Wolves palette. I wish that, I wish that, that Odin's Eye would bring this back for one more round because Everybody now is talking about the legendary Diversa palettes being uh, the top palettes in the top palettes of 2021 and they really really do deserve to be there. I love the Hummingbird palette too. I have not used it enough to put it in this ranking but I do love that color story but I just love this one 10 times, gajillion times more and I want to get the Judy palette too. This, this palette is no longer available. I wish just Odin's Eye, Nibby and Net, you could convince them to do one more restock of your palette. It, it, because now everybody wants it because they can't get it. And, you know, you know, if you didn't get it, I mean, they had 40% they had off at Black Friday. And, you know, some people were just asleep at the wheel, I guess. But this, this palette just, I, I have no words. I, I think you can tell how much I love it. The Giant Wolf's palette. It's phenomenal, and Odin's Eye is just phenomenal. I love their brand. I love Annette, um, and I love everything. Of, I love everything that they do. So, that guys are my those are my top ten palettes of 2021. I know. Um, I did try a lot of palettes this year. Um, you know, much to my surprise, I, I got more palettes than I had planned, and I have a lot of palettes that I still got in 2021 that I love, and I got some new ones recently that I haven't yet used. I might save those for the next year's ranking because I, I literally have not used them yet. So I could, you know, keep them, keep them around for next year. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you love eyeshadow palettes and eyeshadow palette rankings because if you did, make sure you like this video. That'd be cool. And subscribe if you haven't yet already. I'd love to have you be part of the DMB crew. We have a lot of fun on this channel. And uh, that's going to be it for, for now. So I'm going to leave you with some finger hearts, okay? Little baby heart. And heart up top because I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Hope you guys are having a great start to your 2021. Um, I'm off to a slow start, but I'm going to get with it. And, uh, you know, uh, do my thing. So anyways, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Take care. Bye.